During the Enlightenment of the 1700s, man chose to reject the biblical record of Earth's history, not based on science, but on philosophical grounds. The biblical flood was intentionally put into the category of myth, but it actually was never disproven, just rejected as an actual event. If man chose to dismiss God's judgment in the past, then he could live any way he wanted. This view has persisted and is based on the idea of millions of years of mountain building and erosion. But as science has developed over the last 200 years, more and more evidence is pointing to quick, catastrophic processes involved in shaping the surface of the Earth. Specifically, tectonic action and water erosion. Creation science author, researcher, and meteorologist Michael Ord takes you on an amazing journey through the Rocky Mountains and Plains for the evidence of incredible global flood and erosion as recorded in the book of Genesis. He'll share about the challenges with the uniformitarian model, errors in secular dating methods, how the global flood receded in stages, evidence for the uplifting and sinking of the Earth's crust, the formation of the ocean basins, evidence of bulk and channelized erosion, the explanation of plain surfaces both on mountaintops and on large continental surfaces, the movement of huge quantities of quartzite rocks, how to explain erosional remnants like Devil's Tower, how plateaus, mesas, and buttes can be explained by the flood, as well as how the continental margins were formed quickly by sheet erosion. Finally, Michael Ord will address many unique geologic features formed at the end stages of the flood, such as water and wind gaps, the quick excavation of huge valleys, the erosion of pediments, and the cutting of giant submarine canyons found throughout the world's oceans. See how secular geologists just don't have adequate explanations for many of these geologic features, but the flood can explain many of them, and the Bible can be trusted as Earth's true history book. This new DVD set is available in 2013. For more information, visit our website at floodgeologyseries.com.